Hey guys, this is Greenwood back with another Warframe video. I want to make this quick video about getting the pigments to color your dojo. I'm here in the Tenno Lab. Come off here to the right. Here it is, and I'll uh, I'll sort this by name, make it a little easier. The anti-violet, you uh, the, those drop from the Zanuka Hunter. Every two uh, every two weeks, Baro Katir comes. You can buy beacons to to get the Zanuka Hunter to come after you. So, you know, if you want to spend a Ducats, you can. It only takes 10, so it's, it's not too bad, but still. Autumn Brown drops from the Corrupted Moas. All the Corrupted enemies are in the Void, so it's not too hard to, to know where they're at and how to get it and stuff. Boiler Red drops from Forid. Forid is when they have invasions. I mean, it's, you know, it's all infested, and they take over the usual boss node. Because forehead's a boss, which but it's usually not too hard. You can do it by yourself or do it with a crew. It doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, Charger Blue, Toxic Ancients. Those are uh, infested enemies. So like, they could basically be anywhere. Because every, every planet has some nodes that you could do like a, uh, an infested defense or something like that. So yeah, yeah, not too hard. Those guys show up all the time anyway. Crawler Blue, it's a crawler. It's another infested enemy, so they could be anywhere. Devar Gray is a Tusk Mortar Bombard. Those you have to go to the Plains of Eidolon on Earth to do. Which is, uh, you know, not... The hardest part would be finding enough of these guys because you need 400 of the pigment. But they're by themselves, they're not too bad. Unless you're, uh, unless you're doing like a high-level bounty or something. Moving on, there's the Dust Brown. That's a Corrupted Lancer. Again, go to the Void to do that. Elysium Blue, the Sergeant. That's a boss battle on Phobos. You just, you know, you need 20, which, I mean, there's a little more than some of these other ones, but, so it's a little rare. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool color, I guess, but, yeah, you know, whatever. Glacial Blue drops from the Crewmen, which the Crewmen are, of course, you know, Corpus low-level grunts. You can find those on Venus, Mars, Phobos, Jupiter, usually, although, I mean, you know, you always want to double check if you just fight Corpus. And you fight if you, as long as you fight low level Corpus, you'll get it. Hesperia Brown is Troopers. Those are the low level Grenier guys. You'll find those all over the place as well. Moving on, moving on to Jackal Yellow. It's a Sniper Crewman. Corpus. Again, you'll find those all over the place. Uh, Leaf Red. That's a Stalker and a Shadow Stalker. Just like with Zanuka, you could buy a beacon off Barrel Katir, or beacons, I guess I should say, and have the Stalker come after you. Uh, the Leech Green, Corrupted Crewman, that's Void. Moa Green is Auric and Drone, that's in the Void as well. Morning Yellow is the Leech Osprey. The Leech Osprey is a, um, it's a Corpus enemy, it'll drop all over the place, basically. And Mortis Pink is a Kawaka and the Ashen Kawaka. You find those are like little rodent, you know, well, kind of big rodent creatures on the plains of Eidolon on Earth. Uh, let's see, moving on to Mutilus Red. The enemies there are Tar Mutilus Moas, which you'll find those are infested enemies, so you'll find those all over the place. Nanite Blue is next. Charger, which is an infested enemy, so you'll find those all over the place. Night Blue drops from the Vehec Terra Frame, which is the boss fight on Earth. It, that fight is kind of a pain because it has an invulnerability periods and stuff, and which a lot of the boss fights do, to be honest. But this one, you got to listen to him scream and yell, and you can kind of bypass the earlier stuff by charging right to where he's at. But it's still a little bit of a pain. Anyway, move on to Oak Brown. Drops from Butchers, which are Grenier. You know, not not the lowest level grunts, but they're they're kind of weak. You'll find them all over the place. It won't be too hard to to find those guys. Olympus Blue drops from Lancers, which are the uh, they're uh, Grenier guys. They're you know they're basically the grunts as well, essentially. So you'll find those all over the place. Railgun Blue drops from the Railgun Moas, which you'll find those they're, oh they're Corpus enemies. They're all over the place. They're not. You know, I, I would say mid-range, mid-level, and below. River Blue drops from the Seekers. Those are uh, Grenier enemies. They can be a little bit of a pain on the higher level missions, but you're, you know, the higher the level mission, the more enemies you get. Anyway, moving on to Sand Yellow. That's a Scorpions. That's another Grenier enemy, so you, you'll find those all over the place. 
shard black. Unfortunately, you have to get those from the Eidolon Bone Ballast, which is like on the Plains of Eidolon, of course, but the big roaming enemies that only come out at night. And, you know, a lot of people, the, the high level guys, always hunting these things down. So maybe you can get in with some of them. Might not be too bad. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Moving on to Certis Orange, the Arid Eviscerators. Dropped in. The, all the Arid enemies are only on Mars. And these are, they're, they're Grenier enemies. But yeah, only on Mars for these guys. Tharsis Brown is the Ballista. It's a Grenier enemy. But, so you'll find them all over the place. The Ballistas are like the snipers. So you'll find those in like all the missions at all the times. Tower White dropped from the Chondrak and the Rogue Chondrak. Or Chondrak or whatever. That's the Plains of Idol. Along with like vultures. Birds of prey of some sort. Usually, you know, they're like they're like uh, scavengers and stuff. So you usually find them sitting there. A couple of them. So if you can get a drop on them, and, you know, find, you can kill a decent amount. Tree Green drops from the Arid Lancer. Which again, it's a Grenier enemy. The Arid enemies are only on Mars. So that makes it a little bit easier. And then finally, Wisp Gray, which is the Dargan pilot. You can only, you find those guys in the Plains of Eidolon, on Earth. Which, you know, that's those guys piloting those, the ships that are going up and around you, attacking you, basically, whenever you're trying to do stuff. But anyway, um, the basic advice I would give if you're looking for any of this stuff is generally try to do... Uh, in terms of like missions, defense is, is usually a good one, although you don't get as many possible enemies, but you are in a certain area, so it's less likely you have to go running around all over the place if you're with teammates, I'm, I mean. Uh, but like, you know, mobile defense, a survival, anything where the enemies just constantly come because you're, you're uh, it's more time-based, you know, those are the missions that you really can get a lot done. But I mean, even like, even a defense, even though there's a limited number of enemies, you could still get a lot of these pigment drops if you, uh, if you're doing the right missions and stuff, of course. The, uh, some of these are kind of hard or kind of a pain or you might have to put ducats into them or stuff like that. It kind of depends on how you want to work it exactly. Depends on how important it really is. I'll, uh, I've done a little bit of coloring in my dojo, but not really a whole lot, to be honest. But anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, have a good one. Thank you very much for watching.